From time to time, um, I have a favorites list of frequencies that I listen to. And they're very interesting because you have no idea who you're going to pick up on these frequencies. And the frequencies I'm talking about are the FRS channels and the GMRS channels. These are those radios that you see in Walmart and blister packs and all over the place for a few dollars. Uh, it's just not kids on here. A, a lot of people use these. A lot of businesses, uh, campers, hunters, private businesses. Uh, if you're out at an outdoor event, put these in. People use them for security and a whole bunch of other stuff. Hikers use them. It's just a ton of people. You have no idea who you're going to pick up on these. Maybe a business around you is using them. Um, all they need is a couple, um, a couple radios for security or a couple radios for working on the uh, docks or maintenance. This is the way they go. Um, it's amazing how many people do that. The other frequencies that I'm talking about are called LPUs, low power units. These are the frequencies here. You'll find a lot of people, fast food restaurants, building security, construction, uh, between the other frequencies and these, you go through a construction site and you see people uh, directing traffic in that with the stop and uh, go slow signs and that you'll find them using these uh, or in here uh, I found a lot of things around my area and when I travel I always put these in and the low power give it a shot and uh, as I said, uh, there may be something in your area that you've been trying to find and you haven't been able to find it. They're sitting on these frequencies. And there's more than one person on these frequencies, okay? They use tones. So you can put two or three or four or five or six different people on each one of these. Different, you know, there could be a construction uh, site on one, uh, maintenance on another. Uh, another company could be using it with a different tone for security. Uh, that's why um, if you listen to these long enough, you'll, you'll pick up different people on these. I find it very interesting. And I found um, a couple, two or three, no, three. Three businesses that use them. Um, instead of going out and leasing radios, Grab a couple of these. If all you need is a couple of radios on the uh, shipping and receiving docks. If you need a couple for maintenance, grab a couple more. Throw some batteries in it. It's a cheap way of doing it. Instead of going out and leasing radios, that um, these radios are good for a close distance. All right. You hear people, you know, you, they say, oh, 20 miles, 15 miles. Uh, <laughs> no. They're only 2 watts. This is 0 0.5 watts. 2 watts, you're not going to get very far. If you're out in the open. But if you're in a small business, like uh, out in the back stretch or something working, and uh, they'll work very, very good for you. And they're cheap. So you may want to make up a favorite list, put all these frequencies in, and start listening. As I said, I always have it with me. I go to Niagara Falls from Fort Erie, and Niagara Falls, I I turn this favorite list on, and it's always going off. Uh, different businesses, people using them. I've got, um, it was funny the other night, I was listening, and I was listening to, I think it was the FRS. Yeah, it was the FRS. Anyways, I heard... <laughs> I picked up a church down the street from me, <laughs> and they're sitting there praying and singing and everything. Somebody left the uh, 
left it open and I could hear what was going on. Um, other time, uh, last year I think it was, I, I heard a bar about a mile from me. Uh, I was picking it up with my outside antenna. It was a DJ in a bar playing music. Good music. So, I thought I'd let you know about these. A lot of people forget about them. Uh, it'll be interesting what you hear. So, take care, enjoy your scanner, and I hope these come in handy for you.